University, Ding Dobre from here. Uh, Warsaw, Poland, I'm kind of by the river. If you guys have never been here to Warsaw, there is a library. There's a library that all of you, if you come to Warsaw, you have to come here to the top of the, it's the University of Warsaw, of Warsaw, it's the, their library by the river. You have a great view of the skyline. That is on top of the library there where they have a garden. People are always doing photo shoots. You love Instagram photos, pictures. That's where you need to go. I'm actually, here, I'm actually here trying to get some work done today. I'm trying to change up the, change up the office a little bit working here uh and then thank you to paul for today's episode at least the beginning part because when i finished working we're going to another place that was recommended to me by someone who i met um yesterday as a matter of fact uh, okay very productive two ish hours here and 70% done with the work, but that's all I need to do out here. Uh, this is the place where I was telling you about. You gotta go up there, and you see the whole center and everything over there. But I'm finished here, making my way uh, to the other side of the river, which is Raqqa, I think it's called. I'm heading over there, crossing the bridge, and... Uh Five minutes walking um, and now I see where I have to go I'm trying to make it to that side of the river um, make it that side of the river I don't know anything about that side I, I someone told me maybe it's not true I don't know please don't kill me in the comments for it that this side of the river with where everything you guys see in the vlog all the time was destroyed everything was destroyed over here old town new town everything but on this side was more preserved than this one so hopefully i think there's old buildings a whole bunch of stuff like that on this side so where i'm trying to go is just crossing the street but as always crossing it underground what i was saying is i need to make my way to that side of the river um and what i'm hoping is that the clouds, if I could time it right, if you guys don't know, Poland has the best clouds, I think. Uh, they're always so low and they cover the sun. If I can time it right, I'm gonna try to cross that bridge, which should take about five minutes, four minutes, if I time it right, but it's out in the open sun. But if I can time it right to the clouds, uh, I can have a little bit of shade while trying to cross this uh, long bridge. Maybe I haven't filmed it so much. I don't like to film that too much of stuff, but there's a lot of stuff from the war. Every street, almost every block has some kind of memorial down there. There's murals everywhere, uh, kind of commemorating it on this side of the river. So I'm not sure on the other side if they'll have as many. From the Warsaw Uprising, all the stuff from the war, you see a lot of posts, memorials, all that kind of stuff on this side of the river. Uh, but I'm curious on the other side if they have it. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be a nice, This is going to be a nice long walk. Once again, I'm getting that adrenaline rush and I've realized what it is. It's about going into the unknown. Like, it's a scary thing for most people going into the unknown, but I think if you can if you can train yourself to go into the unknown, like, you never know what you're gonna get. Good, bad, you don't know. But by not going, you'll never know. You know, I think that's why I get that adrenaline rush when I'm in a new city, like, I love this place. I get that adrenaline, because it's like the unknown, and I'm here, and I did it. And it's such an accomplishment crossing, no pun intended, crossing from the known to the unknown. There's magic there. And once you go there, you become brave. And then as you keep doing it, you, you become braver, you become braver. And as I was talking to some friends, and they're like, Luke, you just kind of just love the unknown. And I think once you get to that point, then just kind of everything opens up. You're not scared to take, you're not scared to take as many risks. You, you really want to, you understand that every person you meet has the potential to change your life. Every city you go to has the potential to change your life. And that's what the power is in the unknown. And you realize more importantly than going into the unknown is the bravery, 
how strong you have to be and how mentally prepared you have to be sometimes to go into the unknown and just saying yes, that that's where the real magic is and that's where the real power is. But on that note, I'm gonna cross the bridge, three or four minutes left, then I'll be on the other side and deeper into the unknown. Goodbye, known. <sighs> and hello to the unknown. That's what it is. You gotta make an adventure out of everything in life. Even going to the grocery store, turn it into an adventure. doesn't even feel like I'm in Warsaw. And it's like much quieter on this side as well. And I love these places in Poland. I don't know the name of them, but it's something like called Bar or something. Like I'm not 100% sure of the translation, but when you see something like this, it usually always means that it's like, it's like a cheaper place to eat. And it's, for sure, it's almost all the time it's local people. Always local people. Oh, close. Ah, uh, yeah. I uh, know. Yeah, local people, all local people will go to this place, but they're closed today. But I love these kind of places. Um, not only are they inexpensive and you have local people there, but the food is like local. Like you don't go to that place to get like a double cheeseburger or anything like that. You're gonna get pierogies, you're gonna get all the stuff that people have here in Poland. little mall area of course it's not Slazi Saras for the guys who know that's the place where I, I used to always be now it's a little bit more difficult to go there but um, yeah nice little mall now gonna do a little bit more walking I kind of need to find a place to uh... wow and it's crazy everything over here looks so old really all the buildings It doesn't, it doesn't even really feel like Warsaw. Like if I just woke up right here, I would not think I was in Warsaw at all. You know, right now, actually, the thing I'm looking for is a street, it starts with a Z. Apparently that's supposed to be like one of the main streets that they kind of closed down. Uh, my friend told me about it, if I could find it, that'd be great uh, because I actually have to head back over to the other side of the city uh, to meet up with some people, I think. But it would be great to find the city. It starts with a Z. Oh, here's a street. Oh, this is the street they were talking about that starts with uh that starts with a z not sure how to say it but i know for the polish people who are watching they love to hear me try to say these uh <laughs> say these words in polish this is the street zapkowska 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 street okay let's see what they got
Okay, so I think it is aluminum. And it's a restaurant. And they have, do you guys remember how to say that? If you're not Polish, you guys remember that? You said pierogi ruski. You're right, pierogi ruski. Some of my favorite. Uh, cheese and potatoes. I think someone told me onions as well in the comments the last time. But yeah, little quick, little montage of this area before I have to head back. Uh, just to show you guys around just a little bit. side by Warsaw and this is what's on this side Enjoy the unknown by heading back by the end of the vlog before we'll go back to there yeah not sure why i feel this way but i feel like this was the kind of a good place to end the vlog here on the other side of warsaw praga i think is the name i'm pretty sure i'm saying it wrong but i feel like this is kind of the nice place to end it here because this kind of it doesn't sum up what it is but it kind of sums up how it is different from the other side of warsaw where i always am which you guys always see in the vlog but very interesting i might have to spend a little bit more time over here um yes definitely gonna spend more time over here but on that note gonna thank you guys so much for watching you guys who got coffee all the kind of stuff if you watched yesterday's vlog you understand thank you guys so much and i'll speak to you guys all later and everyone always remember to work hard be brave and don't forget to smile hope you enjoyed today